In order to investigate the relationship between different ordinal utility functions representing the same preferences, let's have a look at the concept monotonic transformation. We start with a sequence of n numbers, x1, x2, and so on, up to xn. We can transform these numbers into a collection of new numbers, for example, by doubling each number. This will give me a new sequence of numbers that I will call y1, y2, and so on up to yn. We will say that such a transformation is monotonic if order is preserved. Some examples will explain this better. Let's say that I start with three numbers, 2, 8, and 9. So these are my x numbers. I transform x1 equal to 2 into y1 equal to 1. 8 into 2 and 9 into 11. In the sequence I started with, my first number was the smallest, the second number was the second smallest, and the third number was the largest. Since this holds true for my new sequence as well, this is a monotonic transformation. On the other hand, if I transform 2, 8, 9 into 1, 11, and 10, such a transformation is not monotonic. The third number in the transform sequence is now smaller than the second number and order is not preserved. Even if you transform 289 into 1111, 11, the transformation will not be monotonic. 9 is strictly greater than 8, so my third transform number, 11, must be strictly greater than my second transform number, but here they are equal. If you start with 288 and you transform them into 11011, we again have a transformation which is not monotonic. x2 and x3 are equal. For the transformation to be monotonic, y2 must be equal to y3. Here is one way of creating a monotonic transformation. If I create a transformation using a strictly increasing function f, such that yi is equal to f of xi for all i's between 1 and n, then this transformation will be monotonic. It is enough that my function is strictly increasing on the domain containing the sequence of numbers that I begin with. Here is an example. I start with the sequence of four numbers, 1, 2, 2, and 5. I create a transformation from the function y is equal to x squared. This function is strictly increasing if we restrict the domain to the positive numbers. My new sequence will be 1, 4, 4, and 25. Since f is strictly increasing, order must be preserved. Once we know what we mean by a monotonic transformation of a sequence of numbers, let's introduce a monotonic transformation of a utility function. Given a sequence of bundles, a utility function will give me a sequence of utility levels. Just plug each bundle into the utility function. I can transform these utility levels into new numbers. And if this transformation preserves order, no matter which bundles I select, then we have a monotonic transformation. If I use a strictly increasing function f to transform utility levels from u to v, then the transformation is monotonic. Here is an example. Given the utility function u is equal to x1, x2, suppose that I transform each utility level u into a new utility level v using the strictly increasing function v is equal to u squared. Then the transformation is monotonic. u is equal to x1, x2, and v is equal to u squared, and we have v is equal to x1 squared, x2 squared. The utility function v is a monotonic transformation of the utility function u. However, the utility function w equal to x1 squared times x2 is not a monotonic transformation of u. Take, for example, the bundles 1,2 and 2,1. According to u and v, the utility of these bundles are the same, while according to w, the utility of the second bundle is strictly higher. So why are monotonic transformations important? Well, if you start from a utility function u and you create a new one, v, using any monotonic transformation, then the utility function v must represent exactly the same preferences as u. 
The reason is that a monotonic transformation will always preserve order. Given any sequence of bundles, the utility function u and v will order them in exactly the same way. The opposite is true as well. If you have two utility functions representing the same preferences, then it's always possible to find a monotonic transformation between them. For this reason, it is common to say that the utility function can be determined from preferences, but only up to a monotonic transformation.